Now, the first finalist, Mr. Rob Baxter. Uh, let's take a look at him. How are you, Harry? How you feel, Charlie? How you doing? Oh, I'm just fine. Say, have you heard from me? <laughs> hey, last time I heard she was... There he is, down. son. Say. Red Fox. The, the... There he is. Hey, Pop, you were right, man. He looks wealthy and healthy and young and everything. Didn't I tell you I was a look-alike? <laughs> yeah, you, you said that. Hey, listen to those guys. We better than them, aren't we? I don't know, Pop, but we're gonna find out soon enough. Very nice, thank you. Is that it? No, Mr. Sanford is here. Well, all right. Let's see you, old gentleman. Let's get this over with, so I gotta get to Vegas. Mr. Sanford, you're next. Well, I'm ready to be wrapped up and taken. Uh, be honest, uh, be honest, uh, Mr. Fox. Don't I look like you? Oh, uh, I, we, you, uh, you and I. All right, all right, then. Don't be honest. Uh, yes, you do. You do. And who's going to assist you with your scene, Mr. Sanford? Uh, my son, Lamont. Oh, very well. Are you ready, Mr. Fox? Uh, ready. As soon as your scene is completed, Mr. Fox, his manager, and I will select the winner of the Red Fox Lookalike Contest. Are you ready? Uh, certainly. Start, son. You, Proceed. You, you, you sure you're not too tired? Start, son. OK. Well, I want to be fair and only up and up with you, and I feel that it, uh, it's only fit and proper that I tell you that uh, I've had some uh, previous acting experience. I'm not exactly an amateur, you know. Well, how very nice of you to tell us. And the next time you want to tell us something, wait until someone asks you. <laughs> Begin. Uh, begin. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, you get ready, son. All right. Hello, son. It's good to see you again after all these years. Thanks, Dad. It's been a terribly long, long separation. I know, but these are the times. I understand. Dad? Huh? Why did you run away from home? Well, son, I wanted more than just to be a father and a husband and, and stuff. See, I wanted to do my own thing. And did you? Certainly. And what was your own thing, father? Awnings. Awnings? Awnings. I, I always like to make awnings. Why? I like to hang them. Why? I like to hang them over the window at the YWCA. The YWCA? That's for women. And you still asking why? <laughs> oh, Father, I am ashamed of you, of what you are. You had a chance to become anything that you wanted to, and you threw it away. And just look at you now. Look at you. I am ashamed of you. You turned out to be nothing. What have I done? <laughs> what have you done? Nothing. All you've done is simplify things for me. Take a look at your father and Mr. Fox. Why, no two people in this room could look more alike. <laughs> Since Mr. Fox is asleep, his manager and I act as sole judges and have no trouble awarding your father the winner of the Red Fox Lookalike Contest. Hey, Pop, wake up! Uh, wake up, Pop, you won! I won what? You won the Lookalike Contest! I won the contest. Seven, well, here you go, Marvin. This should do it. All right, I'll add it all up. You think we're gonna make the deadline? Well, I sure hope so. Let me look at the last page of this inventory. Let's see, you got the bathtub and the old stove. Wait a minute, hold it. What? Well, there's one thing missing here. What are you talking about? Well, that old thing that's out in the yard, you know, with the decayed front, the broken back, and the cracked face. Don't open the door and let John S. in. 